Ladies and gentlemen, to talk about Diablo from Blizzard, please welcome Josh Mascara. Hello, E3. How are we doing? Awesome. Are we excited to see some Diablo 3 on PlayStation 3? Awesome. So, yes, yeah, so I'm Josh Mascara, the uh, game director for Diablo 3. And I'm really excited to be here on the Sony stage to talk about Diablo 3. And I realize that a lot of you guys are console players, Sony players. You may not know what's so special about Diablo 3. So I'm going to show you guys a very quick sneak peek of one of our key features. But first, what is Diablo 3? On Diablo 3, you're going to play one of five epic heroes. And you're going to explore a fully randomized uh, world, battling the hordes of the burning hail, trying to find the most epic bad loot imaginable. But here, we're going to talk about one of the most unique ways of experiencing Diablo 3 on console, and that is Saints Stream Co-op. And to do that, I'm going to call up on stage some of my colleagues. So here we have Jason Bender. So Jason's our lead uh, game designer, and he's going to take player one. Next up, I'm going to call up Tiffany Watt, who is our assistant producer. And she'll be playing the role of Demon Hunter. And we have Matthew Berger, who's our senior level designer and John Height, who is our production director. All right. And again, it's such a magical thing to be here on stage, but more importantly for you guys to see you know, firsthand how awesome this game feels on the controller. All right, Jason, so let's just jump right into the, into the world of Diablo. Like I said, we have five classes, and Jason's gonna play the Barbarian. He's one of our iconic characters. He's a mountain of muscle. He is a dual-wielding fiend, and if he can hit anything, he can kill it. So Jason's going to jump right in. And again, it was really important for us that you guys, the PlayStation players, feel that this version was hand-built, not just for the PlayStation 3, but specifically for the DualShock controller. One of the things you're going to notice is the fact that direct control fundamentally changes the experience. This is not a mouse and keyboard game. This is a legitimate console experience. See, Jason just did a leap attack, and we've tweaked every skill in the game to make it feel awesome on the controller. But we didn't just do tweaks. As you just noticed, Jason did an evade move. Let's gonna show us evade again, Bender. All right, let's evade. So evade is one of the things that we've added to make the game feel like a console game from the ground up. The other thing we've really tweaked is loot. Now, at the heart of the Diablo experience is finding magical items and loot. And that is one of the things we've really changed a lot for Diablo 3 on console, because we want our players to be playing the game and not the inventory. Here we have some Wither Moths. All right, let's go open up the chest. Did you open up the chest? Yeah, you opened up the chest. All right, let's kill these guys. Awesome, so let's, let's bring up the inventory, because I think if you guys have seen the game on PC, you're gonna find it a very different interface. And what we wanted to do here is make sure that our inventory felt like it was hand-built for the console. So we designed it to, to be intuitive with the right analog stick. We have 13 different categories. There are literally trillions of different items you can be picking up in the world of Diablo. And at a glance, you can see in the middle pane, you can get into all the details. What we didn't want to do for you Sony players is you know, uh, simplify the item gameplay. What we wanted to do is streamline it so that you can have the information when you wanted it and when you needed it. So let's go back in the game and let's actually uh, introduce to you guys one of our big console features, which is Saints Stream Co-op. So I'm gonna have uh, Tiffany to jump into the game. Now she's gonna pick the Demon Hunter. Now where the Barbarian is about raw, brute, muscle, and power, the, the Demon Hunter is about cunning, deadly traps, and dual wielding uh, bows and crossbows. So let's jump into to the game with the Demon Hunter. And here you're gonna notice a new ally has joined. Something we feel really, you know, we feel very special about Diablo on console is you can have up to four players playing on the same screen. We feel that in this generation, there have not been a lot of great cooperative console, exp uh, console RPGs exp experiences. So we're really happy to be able to showcase same screen co-op. Now you notice that the camera 
is trying to keep them all the players on screen uh, as possible. So we're going we're to keep you in the action. See right now, Tiffin is using rapid fire, which is one of my favorite skills. It's essentially a you know a quizzing art of destruction. It's holding down the right trigger and killing hordes of demons. In this case, beastmen. Bender just needs to know the leap ability. This is very very cool and again being able to sit on the same couch or in this case on four stools simulating a couch it you really start feeling the magic that is Diablo on console oh. oh here we go so you're gonna fight one of us the rare elites in our game uh, so if you see a yellow monster on screen, he's an elite. He means he's got some magical properties. It also means that once these guys kill him, there's a chance he's gonna drop some epic loot. Hopefully a legendary. There we go, you see how the Barbarian's using Whirlwind. Again, one of these skills that feels so great on the controller. Oh, awesome, a bunch of loot. So let's pick up some of the loot and show you guys one of the key things we've added. So if you notice above, each of, the, each of the health bars, we have an item queue. And it was really important for us to keep the players in the action. So by pressing up on the D-pad, you're able to cycle through all the items you picked up. And if you see a bunch of up green arrows, that means that item was an upgrade. So right now, uh, Jason found uh, the buckle, which is a good belt, and you can equip it right then and there without having to jump into the inventory screen. And again, the whole joy of Diablo is killing monsters. So that's why we created the inventory screen. The quickest look, I can say. All right, guys, why don't you back up, move away from these guys so we can bring in some reinforcements. Kill these guys. All right, one last guy. Oh, leave, leave, leave. There we go. Or bring him closer. All right. So now I'm going to ask Matthew and John to join the action. So the monk is a third class. Now he's our martial arts specialist. He's all about lightning fast attacks, and he's our second melee class. We also have the witch doctor who hails from the mysterious southern lands, and his whole ability is to summon zombies and other creatures to do all, the, all his biddings for him. And I think I'm gonna have Matthew pick the witch doctor. What, the wizard? John likes oh. to play the witch doctor. All right, so I guess he's a wizard player. So Matthew's gonna play the wizard, who knows all these a manner of deadly right, spells. And I guess we can let John, actually, any, any choices? Monk or witch doctor? Monk. All right, monk. I hear monk. All right, let's play I the monk. I heard somebody say monk. All right, we're jumping with the monk. And here we're seeing My four players grows. on the same, same screen fighting the hordes of hell. Now again, it's really important to keep in mind that while we support four players on the same screen, we support any combination of four players, local or online. So right now, if you have two players on the same screen, they can invite friends to come in and join them, and they're free to go anywhere on screen that they want. Right? The, the barbarians trying to get their attention. They're gonna go up to the north. So hopefully here we're gonna find some some great monsters, some great loot. Hey, hey, hey treasure goblin! Oh, uh, it's the treasure there goblin up to the north of the screen. Now, if you haven't played Diablo, you don't understand the magic of finding a treasure goblin. But this sneaky little goblin is gonna try to run away. But if these guys can kill him in time, he's gonna drop some epic loot. Um, what? No, he's right, right there. Okay. Oh, there we go. No legendaries. That's okay. And again, as a four-player co-op game, this feels fantastic. It's one of the things we have, we have it running at the booth here at Sony. So if you really want to sort of get, get to know what the big deal about Diablo is, I really encourage you guys to go and play There's the booth over here. Uh, simulate ninja looting? Oh, yes. So you may notice also that um, occasionally we have, uh, we, we drop uh, a special unique power-up on console called the Nephilim Globe. So if you see a yellow, uh, golden globe drop on screen, uh, that's the Nephilim um, Globe that grants all the players Nephilim Glory, which is a speed boost and a damage boost. The last are only 60 seconds, but the more health globes you pick up, the longer you can extend it. It's a really good example of the fact that we want to make sure that we want to drop less but better loot. And we always want to make sure that as long as we kill stuff, that something cool is going to drop from those monsters. All right, let's see if we can find another 
treasure goblin or I'm looking a champion for the pack. pack. So then we can have John simulate dying. There we go. We're seeing a lot of really cool skills in play again. The demon hunter with rapid fire, the barbarian with leap, you know, the monk just rolled. And again, what you're seeing right now is a small section of our game, but everything you're seeing on screen, from the location of the interactive objects, from the from the composition of the monsters, all of these have been randomly generated, which means that no two playthroughs of Diablo 3 will ever be the same. There's always something new. And there's always a chance of a legendary dropping. And uh, I'd like to thank John for simulating dying. Oh, John died. Oh. It's okay, we, we still love you, John. All right. All right, one last pack of monsters. Hey! hey. Treasure Goblin. Yeah, it's not you. Oh, don't lose them. We saw the barbarian use an ancient spear to pull him back. Oh, but we have a, uh, uh, an upgrade for the barb. Fantastic. Hey, Tiffany, did you get anything? Oh, look at that. And again, we really want to make sure your character is always nice and big on screen. All right, guys. I know you guys are having a lot of fun. We know we've been finding some epic loot. But we still have some surprises for you Sony players out there. All right, so, um, so one of the great things of being able to partner up with Sony is that we've come up with some very cool uh, PlayStation unique items that we're gonna be bringing when the game ships. So we're gonna showcase some of these to you guys. So at Blizzard, we're really big fans of Sony and particularly uh, we love Journey. And we thought it would be a great homage to that awesome game if we had a, a journey-specific item called the Hero's Journey. It's a pair of shoulder pads that actually have the journey scarf that animates. It's a really cool nod to a really awesome game by that game company. But that journey is not the only game we, we love at Blizzard. We, we're also big fans of Uncharted. The next item is inspired by the amulet that Nathan Drake wears around his neck. And so it's Drake's, Drake's amulet, some really good piece of and it's a kind of a great nod to the great game and the great universe. But we also have some Diablo specific lore items. So we have Leoric's Gauntlets. Okay. Th so Thank Leoric's you. Gauntlets. Thank you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so Leoric's Gauntlets have the ability to summon a skeleton to help you fight. And finally, we have, not finally, we also have some Crimson Wings that, again, a game that's about fighting angels and demons. We thought some red wings would look really great on your big TV. And finally, our last item. It's a very special item for those of you who know um, about the Diablo lore, and I'm not gonna give any spoilers away, but Leah's ring is a high-end item. They have some really great uh, properties to it, and we hope that when you guys uh, you know, learn what happens to Leah, that this item will mean a lot to you guys. So again, really happy to be here uh, on the Sony stage. You know, we feel that from the ground up, Diablo 3 has been hand-built to play and rock the consoles. And I want to thank my colleagues here for showing Same Screen Co-op. And I cannot wait to see you guys in hell come September 3rd. Thank you, guys.